Preps are underway for Pittsburgh's first night celebration, and it's going to be a big one. However, the frigid weather that's forecasted for Sunday night is causing a change of plans for many of the family-friendly events. Only on KDKA, John Delano has more on how organizers plan to keep revelers out of the elements. With temperatures expected in the single digits on New Year's Eve this Sunday, first night organizers are doing some last minute rearranging to their festivities that attract thousands to downtown Pittsburgh. 90% of the activities are already programmed to be inside. Um, we have almost 30 indoor venues already activated. So the changes that we're making are really just bringing some of the things that were programmed outside indoors. Um, just to make it a more comfortable experience for all the guests that come down. Obviously, some things remain outside, like the fireworks that kick off the event at 6 p.m. and ring in the new year at midnight. But live outdoor music will move indoors, says festival director Sarah Aziz. We had planned a, a longer set towards the midnight hour with Lee Fields and the Expressions to headline, um, but we've moved that performance inside the Benedum Center. Other performances scheduled on some outside stages will also move indoors. One of the casualties of this ultra cold single digit first night celebration is the cancellation of the parade up and down Penn Avenue. But all the bands and the puppeteers can still be seen warm inside the August Wilson Center. One activity that stays outside in the cold is the popular fire and ice display at Penn and Ninth. Their set times are going to be adjusted a little bit so that they're shorter but more frequent. And three warming stations will be set up outdoors. And then there will be a series of patio heaters if you're familiar with those so they'll they'll keep you nice and toasty and cold or not everyone will be outdoors to see the future of Pittsburgh ball rise in the air to ring in 2018 John Delano KDKA TV News